Identification of a process. An ideal gas undergoes a process during which P V to N is a constant where N is a number between 1 and 2, P is pressure and V is volume. No gas leaks out during the process. Part A. What type of process is this if N is equal to 1? So let's see if we have N is equal to 1 then we have PV which is uh, equal to NRT because this is an ideal gas this is a constant now since no gas leaks out the number of moles is a constant R is a constant universal gas constant so this basically implies implying it is a constant temperature process a constant temperature process is an isothermal process so that's the type of process we're talking about in this case now part b Provided that the gas is monatomic, what type of process is this if n is equal to 5 over 3? Now, let's recall what we know about a monatomic ideal gas. So, for a monatomic ideal gas, the molar specific heat at constant volume, Cv, is 3 over 2 R. Cp minus Cv was R, so molar specific heat at constant pressure is 5 over 2 R. And gamma, the ratio of Cp to Cv, is 5 over 3. Now, this process is one in which we have pressure times volume to 5 over 3 is a constant. Uh, which means that uh, PV to gamma is a constant. Therefore, this is an adiabatic process. All right, let's look at part C. Find dP dV as a function of N, P and V. Okay, so we have PV to N is a constant. Let's call that constant C. So pressure is this constant C divided by a volume to the power N. If I take the derivative dP dV, this will become uh, minus N multiplied by the constant C divided by v to the power n plus 1 and this is minus n this constant c is pressure times volume to the power n divided by v to the n plus 1 so i'm substituting for c here uh, pv to n uh, this will give me minus n p divided by v for the final answer so this will be dp dv as a function of n p and v <clears throat> so part d find the work done on the gas if its initial pressure is p initial final pressure is p final initial volume is v initial final volume is v final for n greater than one in terms of the given quantities all right so um, let's look at the work done on the gas work done on the gas is minus the integral p dv so uh, this is basically minus the integral from initial volume to final volume pressure is a constant c divided by uh, v to the n dv so if i perform this 
integration, uh, this is minus 1 over minus n plus 1 c v to the minus n plus 1. And this will be evaluated between v initial and v final. So this will be c constant c divided by n minus 1 if I operate the minus sign in the denominator and this will be v final to the power minus n plus 1 minus v initial to the power minus n plus 1. Now this constant c that I'm talking about is p final v final to n and it's also equal to p initial v initial to n. So p v to n is a constant. So uh, if I take c to be p final v final to n, this value, and multiply it by this one, I will obtain p final v final to n v final to minus n plus 1 minus... And if I take it to be P initial V initial to N, P initial V initial to N, V initial to minus N plus 1, divided by N minus 1. This gives me, for the work done, because minus N and plus N will cancel, P final V final, minus P initial v initial divided by n minus 1. Now, uh, notice that for this case, n is greater than 1. And this is the work done on the gas. So let me clarify here. And n is greater than 1. If n is equal to 1, the, uh, the answer for the integral changes. This is going to turn out to be a natural logarithm. So uh, basically, the work done on the gas is minus integral PdV. And for pressure, I use PV to N is equal to C. So P is C divided by V to N. Perform the integration. And for C, I substitute P final V final to N or P initial V initial to N, depending on uh, which uh, term I'm dealing with to get the simplest possible answer. Now, part E asks me, find the work done by the gas. If its initial pressure is PI, final pressure is PF, initial volume BI, final volume BF, for N equals 1 in terms of the given quantities. Now, pressure times volume is a constant C. N is equal to 1. Work done by the gas is plus integral v initial to v final uh, p dv. So this is integral v initial to v final, the constant c dv divided by uh, v. So that gives me constant c natural logarithm v final divided by v initial. And that constant c is either p initial v initial so i can say it's p initial v initial natural logarithm v final over v initial or i can say it's p final v final natural logarithm v final over v initial so both answers are acceptable Okay, so as you can see, for n equals 1 case, we obtain natural logarithm. And the, the thing to pay attention to, do, uh, to here is work done by the gas is plus integral PdV. Work done on the gas is minus integral PdV. So we have to pay attention to this sign uh, in this problem.